application. It is a sad thing that women of the church, especially since the mid to late 1800s, have pursued roles not intended for women. When Paul says in Galatians 3.28 that all are one in Christ, he is speaking of the spiritual state of believers. He's not saying that there are no women, that there are no men. He's not saying that there are no Jews and that there are no Gentiles. He's not saying that uh, women have now become men unless you're at the Methodist church down the road. Okay, he's not saying those things. He's saying that all are one spiritually. Okay, however, male and female are given different roles to carry out God's purposes within the church. To ignore Paul's words in the pastoral epistles is to obscure what God has ordained. It has led to great dysfunction within the church, and that has led to total apostasy in many large denominations. I would say most large denominations. This was eight years ago or whatever, seven years ago. I would say most have fallen down that path. And after listening to what I listened to today that you sent me, even the SBC, that may not be reflected in the people yet. But uh, she said something, I don't think she even realized what she said. She said that uh, this, this selling away of the church, talking about the Southern Baptist Convention, is in the hierarchy. She said, most of the people in the, the Southern Baptist Convention are very conservative Christians or very conservative people. Speaking of, they're on the right politically, they're conservative in their how they spend their money, they're conservative in their lives, okay? I don't think she realized the implications of what she said because the intent of these people has been, even since the 1800s, to start with the clergy, get them apostate, and then the church follow suit very, very quickly. And that is where the intent is for the Southern Baptist Convention. Because if you can get rid of the Southern Baptist Convention, the largest denomination in the nation and the most conservative major denomination in the nation, you will have completely destroyed Christianity outside of individual pockets of churches there will no longer be any conservatism in churches at all. And that started in the Congregationalist Church. They adopted the first woman. I think it was Congregationalist. And the Congregationalist Church is as far left as it can be in the nation today. The United Methodist Church started ordaining women. Okay, Very soon, they started all the other social issues get introduced. This was intentional. This has been an intentional destruction of the church, the Christian body within this nation over the past 150 years, okay? It has been very effective, and there is very, very little left of conservative thinking in this nation outside of those remaining Christian churches, and they are now being under attack because if the congregation is led by people doing this, it is naturally going to filter out slowly but surely to the next level because they want to get promoted. They want to get a better assignment. They want a bigger church. And then it's going to go to the next level and then the next level. And pretty soon, all of them are going to be just like Saddleback Church that was kicked out of the SBC. They're going to be applauded in another couple of years. This is the intent. And if people are not aware of this and they're not willing to stand on biblical principles, this is the inevitable result. Okay. And mark my words, once you have ordained a woman, why am I bringing this up? Because the next two verses specifically speak of that. Once you have allowed any of that yeast into your congregation, it doesn't matter what scripture says anymore. Okay, and so that is where they started. We're going to do this because they're 50% of the congregation. Paul says they're wanting Christ, taking all of that out of its intended context, and the church has now gone down the wrong path. Okay, um... To ignore Paul's words in the pastoral epistles is to obscure what God has ordained. It has led to great dysfunction within the church, and that has led to total apostasy in many large denominations. Let us look to the structure of the church as it is outlined in the pastoral epistles. Accept what God has ordained and not fight against what is right and proper in his eyes. 